Now it is time to get serious. It's time to talk about no debt, no sweat. None of us are getting any younger, and some of us are painfully aware that changing and caring for your mom and dad mm -hmm. can be a real chore. Indeed, and today we have Steve Diggs, our resident life skill and money coach, here with some ideas for the adult children of aging parents. I, I guess a lot of people are wondering just how prominent is this? It's not really, a, it's a problem, it's, it's a need, I guess, that's the way it families is. look at it, right? It is. You know, Kelly says we're supposed to get serious here, so I guess we have to wipe the well, smiles yeah. off our yeah, faces. Yeah, we're yeah, not yeah, here yeah, to yeah, have yeah. fun, we're here to talk about our parents. <laughs> well, you're, you know, it's one of those things, and, and I, I'm facing it with grandparents yeah. right now, not parents, but still knowing it is financially a big deal. It is, you know, responsibility that yeah. you didn't necessarily plan on. Well, you know, you're right. Really, by the numbers, the truth of the matter is this. 41% of kiddos these days are taking care of at least one parent right mm -hmm. now. And of those who aren't, 37% of them, according to a new survey, are saying that they expect to sooner or later. So really? maybe if you'd like to, we could talk about three or four things that might make sense for those of us who have parents that are kind of getting a little grayer and a little older. Well, I, I guess you, these are things that uh, you have from experience and talking with people and just observing, as you've come up with a list. Uh, I well, guess yeah, and actually, I'm, 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 believe it or not, I'm the child of two parents, so I've had to deal with it, too. There you go. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, my man. All right, yeah. let's get started here. Well, listen, the first thing that I like to encourage folks to do, is young, parent, young folks, uh, the, the, the children, adult children of, of senior citizens, right. is to have that hard talk. I equate this with the birds and the bees talk that our parents had with us years ago. This one's hard. This is when we need to sit down with mom and dad and we need to ask them the hard questions. Mom, dad, where are you at right now? Would you be willing to let us look over your retirement plan? Look at your mutual funds. Now, wait, wait, at what point do you need to do this? At what age? I guess well, you know, about. it depends on your relationship, your parents' health, and a number of things. You know, honestly, if I have parents that are close to their mid-50s, early mm -hmm. 60s. Closing in on retirement yeah, age, not, a, not at retirement age. It's a good time to that. have that chat okay. because, you see, these parents grew up in an age when many of them had pension programs to start, gotcha. and then they lost those, and some of them haven't really prepared. A couple of other things on that same point that probably make really good sense. Think about asking your parents about their, their, their plans for other things. Make sure you've got a durable power of attorney yeah. and a health care power of attorney. This can help you in those crunch moments when you really need the help. Absolutely. Right. Let's talk about long-term care insurance. I've heard of this. I know a lot of people who swear by it say you yeah. really need to have it. How important is it? Kelly, I think that's one of the top things that we need to look at. Okay. We need to encourage our parents to get good long-term care insurance. And for those of us that don't know what long-term care really is, this is insurance that is really designed to help protect our parents from the cost of, of long-term stays in a nursing home, mm -hmm. or maybe assisted living centers, or, or possibly just simply getting home, home health care services. These policies can be bought at different ages, but I encourage folks to think about them as early as the, in their mid-50s. Makes okay. good sense to do that. Can All you right. get those for a number of years, or do they have to renew? All well, you have to repuy it every year okay. in most cases. But but the companies are set up now so that this is a very easy process, and there are more and more good companies selling pretty good policies, but good. be sure you look at what you're buying first. Let's continue with your checklist. Well, number three, what I would recommend that we think about doing is, is really get the house prepared for mom and dad. You see, the thing is this. Sooner or later, mom and dad are going to probably be in a position where their home needs to be prepped for them if they want to live there a little longer, mm -hmm. or your house may need to be prepped for them if they're going to come and live with you. All right, be specific when well, you say prepped. Well, what I mean is this. If we're going to do some remodeling, uh, right now, for instance, but we think maybe five, ten years out, mom and dad could be living with us, why don't we think about things like wider doorways? Why don't we think about things like pull bars in one of the bathrooms? There's mm -hmm. a really great website, the National Home Builders Association, has done in conjunction with AARP. Right. It's at www.na, whatever that N -A -H -B. is, right. nahb.com. And it's a great website to go through because they've got some uh, some good ideas on okay. that. All right. And one final note, start a war chest. Yeah, get a war chest together. Get some money going. Get some, some dollars in the bank because whatever happens, it's going to cost us some money. That's you, the bottom line. You never know what Absolutely. the expenses are going to be. Be prepared for yeah. it. All right. SteveDiggs.com for more information and catch him here every Friday with us. Thanks for coming hey, in. Hey, it's a hoot to be it's here. See you, see you as week. always. All right. Still to come on Tennessee Morning.